Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Upgrade or Trash It. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is attempting to walk you through how to install a copy of Windows XP onto a Dell laptop. Now it's a three stage process. The first thing we need is we need an ISO image of Windows XP. Secondly, we then need to use a bootable USB piece of software for our USB stick, which will take that ISO of Windows uh, XP and actually make it work on the USB. And then thirdly, we need to actually plug that USB into our Dell laptop and load it on there. Right, so first things first, what we're looking for, and what I'm actually looking for here is I'm, I'm in Google, I've typed in Windows XP 64-bit activated ISO download. Now what that means is I'm looking for the ISO of Windows XP. I'd like it to be 64-bit and, and activated means I don't need to put a license code into it. Okay, so I've actually, one that I've used before is this one here you can see the address up here and i know that this is a solid iso and that it's pre-activated so you don't need a license code for it which is perfect but unfortunately for some reason the internet is down now i used it earlier today but um, now four or five hours later um, i can't get fluffnet just isn't working but if you like use that one try that one first there's the exact um, url use that and then download that and that could be and if you use that then i can personally vouch for the fact that it's safe and that it works but let's look for a backup okay and i'm going to go for this one here so i'm back in my google page windows xp 64 blah 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 and i'm going to go for this one here um, Nope, that's the wrong one. As is that. So which one was I looking at earlier? Yes, here we go. It's this one here. So it's at um, archive.org, but there's the exact URL. So just use that, and I'll include the URL in the description as well. And so what we're going to do is we are going to go across to the onto the right hand side, and we're going to click on there's a um, white arrow with a with a blue background. Just click on the ISO image like that, and then you can see here we go. It's beginning to download. And this will take around 10 minutes, I would have thought. Fantastic. So you can see that that has now completed. And that if I go into my if I show my downloads folder, there we go. There's the um, there's the file. Sorry, here it is here. <laughs> I'm, um, yeah, this this is the one here. Um, so that's in my that's in my downloads file. The next thing to do is we need a piece of software that will turn a USB stick into a bootable USB stick. And if you've done, if you've done a bit of research around this um, topic before, then there's a variety of 
then there's a variety of these that you may have come across. One of them is Win Setup from USB, which is mentioned from quite a few people on YouTube. Another one is, I think it's called Boot to USB. Um, no, maybe I'm maybe I'm getting that wrong. Sorry, I'm confusing you. Anyway, the one <clears throat> the one that I use and is incredibly easy, and I use it to create not just for this XP um, edition, but I've used it for all my Windows 10 and my all my Windows 11 stuff as well. is called Rufus. Okay, it's a free piece of software. It's teeny tiny, and it's perfectly safe. So if you just you can just download it here. Just get rid of the ad and then you can see what we've got there okay at this stage you also need to put a usb stick into your um, plug it into your computer and it needs to be at least eight gigabytes now i just got 16 gigabytes because i actually think at the moment they're cheaper than eight gigabytes one Okay, so that shows that's where my USB stick is. It's it's found it. <coughs> now the next one here is we need to show it where the is the uh, ISO images. Okay, so this is the one that we want. This is the one that we've just downloaded. Okay, so this is in my downloads folder. So that goes like that, and then you can see that it's. Um, it's populated that box there, which is perfect. Partition scheme, keep this MBR. Don't change the target system to BIOS. Um, so the volume label, that's just referring to the um, USB stick. Make sure the file system is NTFS. And then all you need to do is just do start. And this will warn you that everything on your USB stick will be wiped. And again, this process will take about 10 or 15 minutes. So there we go. The ISO has been copied onto the USB and we can boot from it. So that's what I'm going to show you in the next part of the video. So having modified our copy of Windows XP, it's now time to install it. So I'm here in front of the Latitude 3330. I've got the USB pen with the uh, Windows XP files on it already plugged in. But before we start the installation, I just want to check some settings in the setup in the BIOS. So I've turned it on and I'm pressing F2 as if my life depended on it. And now what I want you to do is come down to system configuration and then press enter and it, the menu will expand and we need to go into the SATA operation. Now, it's important that the selection is on ATA. Mine already is, but if yours isn't, then change it to ATA. Come down the bottom, click on Apply, and click on Exit. And that's really simple, but that's all I wanted to check. So here we go again. We're starting... So I'm pressing F12 furiously to get the one-time boot menu and I'm going to go to USB storage. For some strange reason I get an, um, an error message invalid partition table. Press enter. Press enter again when you see. Press any boot, any key to boot from USB. And here we go. Doesn't this bring back memories?
Okay, so here, this is the top one here, partition one is the main part of um, my hard disk drive that I want to install it on. Um, this box here will also show at the bottom, it will show your USB drive. So be careful not to select that. Um, but I'm just going to go for, well, in fact, let's have a look at this unpartitioned space. Um, no, we'll go for partition one. Sorry, I was going to see about uh, deleting that, but there's no need. So I'm going to select partition one and then press enter. And then I'm going to go for format the partition using the NTF file system, the quick option. And then here we go, I'm going to press F. So we're going to restart. Okay, so now I'm just going to, in fact, let's see if we can just click on next here. I tell you what, no, let's, I'll just put in my name. Okay, and then I don't want any of that. I'll change that to London because I'm in the UK. The time's not right, but we won't worry about that. I'm turning on automatic updates, I don't quite know why. Okay. So there we go, we've got a successful install of Windows XP on a Latitude 3330 and that took 24 minutes. 
which isn't too bad. Now, of course, it's not a, it's not really a working, um, a fully working copy of uh, Windows XP because the drivers to get the wireless or the Ethernet or the resolution for the screen obviously aren't installed. So, but in terms of a wonderful trip down memory lane, you know, and something to do at the weekend, if you've got a spare hour or two, then this could be it. Thank you for watching.